Hi guys, this short video is all about stretching. It's about stretching the areas that people tend to complain about most, um, feeling tightness, feeling even a little bit of pain. So we're going to focus on hamstrings, we're going to focus on hips, lower back and a little bit of twisting as well to get the centre of the body moving um, and to increase mobility and just stretch out sore tired muscles. So Mike is going to join me today. Um, He'll admit that he's a good example of somebody that, you know, works out, goes for runs, stuff like that, but doesn't always make time to stretch afterwards. Um, so with this set of stretches, you can do it after your workout, or if you wake up the next morning and then you remember that you should have stretched, these are really good ones to go through. So enjoy, we'll show you the options as we go through. I might stick with the advanced options and put Mike on the beginner or low ones. Um, let's see how it goes. Right, let's get straight into it and we're gonna start with the hips. It is best to have shoes off just so that you can move the feet a little bit more easily. So we're gonna come down onto the floor and we're gonna start by coming into a seated star. Lots of names for the stretch. Basically, we're taking the soles of the feet together, letting the knees drop out to the side. So again, no bouncing, no forcing of the knees, just hold on to the feet or the ankles. And now the key here is sitting nice and tall, draw the belly in. And if your hip stretch has become a shoulder lift for some reason, just drop those shoulders away from your ears. So you wanna relax everywhere. And if you squeeze your glutes just a little bit, squeeze your butt, the knees should be able to drop out a bit further. So really good, should. <laughs> really good for stretching in around the hip joints, just hold it. If you want a little bit more, you can try opening your feet, so as if you're opening a book, and let those knees drop out a little bit more. But just go as far as you can. And over time, if the knees are quite high, you should be able to drop them a little bit more and more. As far as I can. Nice, okay. <laughs> so from there we're going to come into a um, modified half lotus. That's one option. I'll give you the low option to begin with though so we don't break anybody. Low option is crossing one ankle in front of the other. It's just sitting with crossed ankles. Now if you're sitting here and everything feels fine, everything feels comfortable, take one foot and place it on top of the calf or just tucking it inside your knee. And that's your modified half lotus. And to begin with, people might find that the knee is quite high in this position, but over time, you're just gonna press that top knee down and allow the hips to open. How's that one feeling? I'm Crossed ankles? Stay, stay yeah. Nice, okay. So just sitting tall, let the shoulders drop back and down. Always have the core brace, just drawing the belly in towards the lower back. And remember that gentle squeeze on the glutes. Just breathe it out. Yeah, you forget to breathe it, don't you? Yes. <laughs> then you start breaking out in sweat and it becomes a whole other type of workout. Okay, so we're going to take that top leg now and place it out in front. Two options for this one. Either 90, 90 with the knees. So one knee forward, one knee back. Or if you're sitting here, you can square your hips, you can square your shoulders with relative ease. You're gonna advance it by taking your heel in towards your hip and then extending the opposite leg nice and long. And that extended leg, you wanna make sure that the knee and all five toes are tucked under. So nice and long, I'm gonna steal the screen right down to the toes and sink down into the hips as much as you can. Um, so you can edge that back leg back a little bit further if you wanna get lower. If you're tight in the hips, you might wanna stay a little bit higher. And just hold it, count it out. Another few seconds. Nice work, and then just roll onto the back hip. Take the legs in, we're gonna go modified half lotus or crossed ankles on the other side. So just try, um, this time, if, sorry, if you're going cross to ankles, you're just switching the feet over. So it's opposite foot in front, or opposite foot on top. And again, we're gonna focus on pressing that top knee downward, 
straight spine, draw the belly in, feel it in the hips, just let the knees drop out. And you can try flexing your feet as well, especially if you're feeling any strain in your knee, um, by flexing the foot it will often just ease that strain on the knee joint. And just holding, let the muscle relax, let it melt away. Keep breathing. Every now and then he stops breathing. <laughs> it's a reminder that people do hold their breath. <laughs> okay, and from there, again, you're gonna take that top leg or the one that's in front. So we come into the swan pose then on the opposite side. Either 90-90 and focus on squaring the hips and shoulders to the side. Or tuck the front heel in, extend the back leg on curl the toes. sinking down into it and every time you exhale remind yourself to just let go through the hips and the main reasons we do work on on hip um, flexibility and mobility the hips do support the majority of your body weight so it's really important that we keep them healthy if they're not in a good state, it tends to lead to injury um, and it would definitely be one of the main causes of lower back pain. Um, so nice, supple, healthy hips. That's what we're aiming for here. All good? Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Roll back in. And we're gonna finish in that star position again. So, soles of the feet together. Drop the knees out. And this time we're just gonna tip forward slightly. Um, now sometimes we'll tip forward and keep the spine straight, but for the stretch we're doing today, we're going to allow the head to drop. Imagine you're taking your forehead towards your toes. I'm getting cramped. <laughs> <laughs> so if you start getting cramped, stop what you're doing <laughs> and just let the legs relax. Um, if you're coming into the stretch, you're going to bring forehead down towards the toes. Allow the spine to curl, allow the head to drop and let those knees drop out again. And just breathe, use the breath. Every time you exhale, relax into the stretch. Lovely. And then when you're coming out of this one, very slowly, just one vertebrae at a time, and then lift the eyes and let the body follow. Okay, the next focus is going to be on twists. So we're twisting the body, stretching the muscles down the side of the spine and through the ribs. We're going to come into a seated twist to start with. A few variations on this one. You can keep one leg extended and step the opposite foot outside your knee. And from there, you're going to wrap, sit tall and look to where you're going. So look back. Um, if you've got any issue, major issues with the hips or the knees, then this option is definitely going to be the better one for you. Or you can even take your foot inside your knee and twist. To advance the move a little bit, you take that bottom leg, you tuck the heel right into your butt, and then again, the foot comes outside the knee, sit tall, so lengthen the spine, and then twist, and breathe. So every time you exhale, just ask yourself, can I let go of anything more? Just allow the muscles to relax, and hug that knee tightly into your chest. Lovely, release, and then take it to the other side. So either with an extended leg, and then we wrap, or bottom leg tucked in, sit tall to begin with. So always straighten the spine first, and then the twist comes second. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with Mike's wrist, so you're going to take your arm outside your knee and then hug it close to your chest. That's the one. And that will just give you a little bit more. Hi. <laughs> Been like through here now as well. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, outside of the hip, maybe even a little bit in the glute if you're really tight or in there. Um, and definitely through the side of the body, that, that mid-back and through the ribs. Just hold on to that. 
Um, a couple of other progressions for this move when you're ready for them, if you ever want to give it a go, you hold the outside of your foot and you extend the leg and then you open the back arm. Don't know if it's a wise thing for you to go there. Oh, good, good. <laughs> this is a problem we're working out with some males, not all, <laughs> competition. You don't need that in stretching. It's not a good idea. <laughs> foot to the floor. Okay, nice work. A um, couple more twists. We're just going to come into a lunge position. So, nice and long with the back leg, front knee is bent, back hand on the floor, and you're just going to reach and twist towards the ceiling. So, work from the top of the body down, shoulders drop away from your ears, and shoulder blades draw back and together. We twist and open through the ribs. Try and form a straight line with your top arm and your bottom arm. And just think about that opening. And if you want to, you can lift the back knee, but not necessary. If you're stretching after a workout and your legs are tired, then just leave that knee down and focus on the twist instead. Just make sure that you've changed legs. So again, we're gonna bend in to the front knee. Always check knee over ankle, so we're not putting any, um, any stresses on the joints. Ground your back hand, and then twist and open to the front. So again, your option is either knee down or press the leg away and breathe. Big breath in, big breath out. Maybe this is something you should do with your next um, Zoom meeting with the boys. <laughs> now I'm trying to reach for the roof here, am I? Yes, so pushing up out of the bottom hand and reaching up into the fingers on top. <laughs> and then coming down nice and slowly, dropping the back knee to the floor, slide in, come on down, that's your twists, done, well done. Right guys, for the next set of stretches, we're going to come up onto our feet to begin with, because <laughs> not following the program, okay. Um, so we're going to start with a forward fold, uh, it is okay to have soft or bent knees in forward folds, and over time you just um, aim to straighten the knees basically. So, feet are hip distance apart and you're gonna start by just tipping from your hip. Keep your belly drawn in to support the lower back and hands on thighs to begin with. And then if your hamstrings allow, you're gonna fold a little bit further and take your hands to your shins. That's it. Now, if you find that at this point, it starts to become a little bit too much for the hamstrings, it's okay to soften the knees, try and go a little bit further, and then your focus becomes straightening those knees. Not locking them out to the point where if you move suddenly, you're gonna injure yourself, okay? You need to have a little bit of softness there. And then try and relax your head and neck, so use your breath, exhale, let go, let go through your shoulders, through your head, through your neck. And now take one elbow in each hand and you're just going to pull really gently on the elbow. So you feel, what are you feeling like? Let's see, without me telling you. Oh, just kind of opens up my shoulder blades. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what you should be feeling. And I, I didn't prep them for that one. <laughs> so then you're stretching the upper back. Um, anybody that does a lot of sitting and typing, a lot of driving um, or any kind of work where the arms are in a forward position and held there for long periods of time. This is a really good one for you guys. Okay, soften the knees and we're going to take our hands to our shins and come into what we call tabletop. So right here you want a neutral spine, belly is drawn in, shoulders are back and down and your shoulders are in line with your hips. So if I turn Mike sideways, we might find that he's got a bit of a round in his back and if he looks at the camera and um, you guys should can do this in front of mirrors or uh, whatever helps and just try and focus on taking the roundness out of your upper back and then he's got a good neutral spine so that's fine for now and then straighten those legs a little bit yeah it's not gonna happen <laughs> i won't force him <laughs> no bouncing no forcing just hold Okay, take a big breath in, and as you exhale again, drop down to the floor. So soften the knees if you need to, 
If you're getting the hands to the floor with straight legs, see if you can go a little bit further and tuck your fingers in under your toes. So a few weeks ago, Mike, is it true to say couldn't oh, touch? Yeah. yeah. And complaining all the time about being sore. So um, we're trying to. It's <laughs> not sure. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so just relaxing. Straighten those knees as much as you can. This will either make or break your relationship if you're doing it with your partner. <laughs> Soften your knees and slowly roll up, shoulders back and down. Um, next move for the hamstrings, we're going to lie down onto the floor. Uh, lie back nice and slowly, bend the knees. You can go to that end. Yeah, perfect. Try not to block them out too much. <laughs> Feet on the floor, and then we're going to extend one leg towards the ceiling. Okay, so again here, if you need to soften the knee, that's fine. Your focus then becomes straightening of the knee. And help us, so strength and flexibility are very much entwined. So sometimes you might literally not have the strength to lift the leg up very high. And um, so you might be down here, but by straightening your knee, you can still get that stretch in the hamstrings. So just play around with the position, see where you need to be. Soften the foot for now, just allow it to relax. And we're just gonna hold that for a little bit. So you can support um, behind, either above or below the knee, so either your calf or your thigh. Try not to wrap the hands around the knee joint too tightly. Again, if it, if it needs to bend, it should be able to do that easily, just to reduce any chance of injury. Okay, so take your knee to your chest, take a little bit, bit of a break. We're going to stick with the same leg. But this time when we extend, we're going to pull our toes very slowly back towards us. If you're tight in your calves, you really want to take that one slowly. Okay, so just pulling the toes down and you won't be able to take that leg back as far. Would that be true to say? Yeah. Yeah. And breathe. If you do a bit of running, you're probably going to feel all of these ones pretty, pretty strongly. <laughs> Okay, soften the foot, soften the knee, pull the knee into the chest. And then extend again, and this time we're going to point the toe, so stretching out down along the shin and into the foot. It can be surprising actually how challenging that little stretch can be. And breathe. <laughs> and then relax the foot and go one more time into your hamstring stretch, so just drawing back. And if you want a little bit more, you can extend that opposite leg to the floor. A few more seconds here. And then soften the knee. And we're going to switch sides. So opposite leg now extends. That's it. Straighten it out. And again, hold either below the knee joint or... If you're more flexible, then you can hold the calf and pull back a little bit further. See how you really just really quickly there. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so just soft foot, no stress on the around the ankle or anything to begin with. Pulling back as much as you can. Use your breath. As you exhale, just let everything relax. And then soften the knee, bring knee to chest. And now when you extend, we're going to start slowly pulling the toes back and pressing the heel away. Just holding. Let your hips settle into the floor. And if you've brought focus or tension back into your shoulders again, just allow them to relax, allow them to drop away. Okay, soften your foot, soften your knee, bring knee into chest. And then extend again. And this time we're going to point the toe. So as much as you can. And when you start out, your foot might be um, flexed a little bit more. As you become more flexible, you should be able to point a little bit further. 
relax your foot and take one more hamstring stretch to straighten the leg out as much as you can. He was about to give up. Uh, and, and as I mentioned earlier, the other option is to extend the opposite leg. But do all of that slowly because it will have a big impact on how the stretch feels on that lifted leg. And again, we just breathe. And while we're here, we're going to soon move in to one final stretch. The next one is for inner thigh, mainly you feel it around the, the hips, the groin as well. So take it really, really slowly. Do not make it a competition with um, anybody that you might be doing your stretches with. Bend your knees, take them into your chest. This could get interesting space-wise, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. Um, take your hands to the outside of your thighs. Now, unless you're advanced, do not take your hands off the outside of your thighs. You wanna keep that support on the legs, okay? And then straighten the legs slightly and start to take them wide. So you'll get to a point where you wanna see how straight can you make your legs and then how wide can you let them go. So Mike's gonna stay there. Um, so over time, you wanna be, without lifting your hip bones, you wanna be pulling those feet back a little bit closer to your body, breathe. <laughs> relax your shoulders, relax your head and neck. Um, and keep that support on the outside of the thigh. So that's just to prevent any kind of sudden movements. If you're tight on the inner thigh and the groin, you do not want sudden movements when you're in this position. I think he'd do any kind of stretches that I told him were good for him at this stage. I could make this into a really fun game, but I won't. <laughs> I'd be good. Okay, and then to come out of that, you're just going to bend the knees first and then help the legs back in with your hands. That's it. And feet to the floor. <laughs> and breathe. <laughs> well done, guys. So, um, like I mentioned earlier, it's a great set of stretches for uh, post-workout or for all of you people who wake up the next morning after a workout and think, oh yeah, I should have stretched. Um, and you can do it anywhere, you just need a small space. Do it while you're binge watching whatever Netflix series you're on at the moment. Um, you know, make the most of the time that you have and show your body a bit of love. Thanks guys, see you again soon.